Do you want to know how to build a parachip like this? Stay tuned. First off, what you're going to need is some resources. I really highly recommend to get a beaver. One beaver, maybe some fetch machine like this here. First off, what you have to get right is the first placement has to be aligned correctly. And how to do this? The best way is just to go on the raft like this by pressing E and then put down the pillar. It will be aligned perfectly. If you don't do it like this, you may run into trouble later. We may extend the ceiling on top just by two bits and here we are able to put a pillar underneath and then put the foundation down. We destroy every bit this pillar too. You will see the spacing. The next pillar I put down will be farther down. Just remember the other one. As it is, yes, that's how we get down. Extend the ceiling again and repeat the process. See here, you can put it, let it snap to the foundation or the pillar. It doesn't work from this side though. Keep this in mind, it will, maybe it did screw some people over, think it uh, doesn't work or something. You have to get around, you know it's arc. It's a bit fickly to figure stuff out sometimes. What some people do wrong is he yeah, extends put the pillar up too high, it's possible. I didn't get it, delete the other one stand, but I wanted to show it off. How it looks like and they do it like this and then they're wondering why the foundation doesn't go down. See when the spacing is that big, all you can do is snap it to the other foundation or put it even one more up again. Here we will go ahead and extend the foundation. You see they don't snap just like this. Here it sure it will snap when they go away. But here we have to put down a, a, use a, a roof. Fetch roof. And it just snaps underneath. Here you see you cannot snap it further up, but it will be supported by by the raft. You see when you delete this this foundation here, this wooden floor, the other one will stay in place. You can come up with a lot of different design of boats like this when things have to float.
what I'm gonna show off here is how to do the the front of the boat. It took me a long time to figure some stuff out. I did researching on the internet. I did find some people doing it. I think Chicken Bone was the best video I watched about this. He did a very good job explaining it. It helped me a lot. I found out even further tricks I will show off here. Just for you, it's important that the fence foundation is not inwards. You know, they can snap outwards, the ceiling and the inwards. Start here. And then, another thing you have to keep in mind when you toggle E, you know, you can change the facing of the of the wall. But when it faces the wrong way, you may run into trouble later because the spacing, as you saw, is moving a little bit when you're pressing E. What I highly recommend doing is just put it down the right way. What uh, helps a lot if you have to cross C, just get a gun and then you know on which pixel you're pointing. Especially if you do fence foundation, it's almost a necessary tool sometimes to get ahead faster. And here you see when I get the point right, it even snaps in more than outwards, it's lucky. You have to press and see how it places. has too many snap points he wants to snap to. I think here already I could have gone ahead and deleted the platform because I don't need it. But I will show off this trick later on. I wanted to show off this too. So you see how you can do it. I show here there's too many snap points from every angle. The point will be here. I had it for a second see. We can do this for ten minutes, an hour maybe sometimes. Here do another mistake. I did extend the foundation with the ceiling and the fence foundation was too deep. Uh, here I will show off a trick. Don't fiddle faddle with this, just go ahead when you build this, it's possible, not for other things maybe, but when you can do it, just go ahead, delete the ceiling. It will destroy six snap points, maybe, and just the one left you won't really want to use. And it's always uh, face the right direction after this, for me, it works perfect. I'm a pirate. I have a gun. Now to the problem again. Up here it's perfect, down here it's obstructed. It is obstructed by the foundation. And yeah, you can go ahead and delete it. I will show it off what happens when you do that. It supports the other two. Just see the front fence foundation, the stone foundations on the front. And they hold the ceilings and when you destroy it, bam, makes you cry. You wanna go home and stop playing for a moment. Yeah, but uh, I will rebuild it very quick. Just I think a lot of people run into this problem and <laughs> I really wanted to show it so you don't do the same. I want to show you a way around it. I go ahead and finish the walls underneath. For the back, um, we have pillars. I wanted to have some on the back of the boat anyway, on the side. You can extend them further down. If you extend them long enough, you're able to snap a ceiling to the pillar. I use this in, for for something. We can build lots of things on the rafts, underneath, taming pens or 
I can do something. Here I do it too, like this, go a bit down. The, the wall doesn't snap, the ceiling does. I think uh, that's about some this high. Uh, we'll see, I guess not. Is it? I guess I'm off. Yes, I'm off. Let's go ahead and delete this. I'm wondering no shark went come here and eat me till now. Usually on this part of Thailand there is always something up. I'm not sure I'm drowning. See, I show again, it's obstructed. <laughs> I'm really sorry I did run into some memory problems. I already went ahead and deleted the fence foundation, uh, the, the foundation here, the wooden floor. You see, I cannot place it back and I don't want to do, redo the whole process, but you just can go ahead and delete it on this point when you have the ceiling underneath. I don't know why it really supports, but I guess when it's, the spacing is in between, the walls are supported by the by the room somehow. Um, yeah, finally we have the front finished. Here I uh, show this bit off, you see how it snaps on by both sides. You have to put down both the ceilings or it will be a gap in one of the walls because in the very corner there is a gap anyway. There are a few ways to hide it, I will do both ways. the beauty already. Uh, on this point actually you can really do a lot with the boat. You can take other materials like glass or metal, make it like the yard. I really love this boat building and I think I'm gonna do uh, some other design. I did look at some pictures and I did some T-Tom designs. I had like to do. Here is another thing you will run into when you do the floor. You know, sometimes you can change the direction where they're facing, and it's really important for the look that it wouldn't be off like this. Here it will change direction for some reason. So what I do is do the flooring and after delete the pieces go around and replace them. I haven't figured out another way to do this the easy way.
Here I will show another trick. You see how the pillar doesn't snap to corner. Here I put down a fence foundation and it will snap to the fence foundation. On the normal foundation it just snaps into the middle. This helps a lot on buildings when you want to have a nice corner. This part, I don't know if this really happened, or I dreamt it later, or what. I mean, I'm fighting this bat off all alone, and I'll be damned if I didn't get really turned off. And here I did find another mistake I did. See how the ceiling is off? It's actually very bad. It should go on top of the wall outside here when I put down the fence foundation so I will not run into trouble later when the snap points are offset somehow I think something looks already broken here I don't know what I did wrong I hope I don't run into trouble later Speaking of which, the pillars are already painting the ass today. But yeah, I will go and finish the back of the boat now. This is a sloped roof. It's very nice. You can know that the foundation there is in the way. Down here, you can put down not a uh, ramp, could look nice too, then we have this thing that goes in, but it doesn't make any sense, I will just put a wall there. And let's make sure that this doesn't support anything around two spaces wide, the foundation behind it will support it anyway. So we can go ahead and delete this foundation that obstructs the, what I want to build. put down the wall, how they flicker, they have to. sometimes you have to press and when it's wrong you have just to redo the process, there is not a, I didn't find any way, way around it. Here you see some other thing I did wrong, I did put down the wall before the ceiling, it's off, and I put down it after it would be fine. I was pretty horny. I was drunk too. I was a. I had a little to drink. I was a little drunk. I did try this for 5 minutes now, it's really a pain in the ass, I don't know why it won't snap right. Maybe I find something, I have to go and look around, maybe some, something is off. It is green but it won't let me. I found something. The balls here I put earlier and on top I didn't see where they snapped to and they are off from each other, maybe this causes some trouble. I think really not because walls don't impact the obstruction zone or give other snap points, I guess, for pillars.
just won't let me do it. <laughs> yeah, something like this can make you upset. You know, it, it, it should work. But actually it does not. Try to move around the boat and... And you have to keep trying. Like this one, it's flag your screen always. I know it will work, but I have to keep spamming. See, <laughs> it did work. The other one is a bigger pain because it never went to green. Here's another thing I want to do before on the back. I really ha like to have these railings go up to to the top, so it looks like some, something you can climb up. But uh, it won't snap in the middle of the platform for some reason. Now can't put down fence foundation because it's on the corner where it's supported here. I tried to go. You can go around with this when you put down the pillar. It will snap to the pillar now. But I would not recommend doing it like this because it will always be a little off. There is something very wrong. I, I don't know what the game is doing with the snap point here. It will put it up in there or somewhere. Just not, not a real snap. I'm sure it put down the ramps instead of the slope. Maybe it's here already. Um, you can extend the wall from the top roof I built here. And when you do that, the, on the bottom, you can replace the wall with the uh, railing. And then just build the way up again. So it looks very nice, I really like how I did it. Happy the game let me do that. Now we are on top. 
this looks nice. I really like how it turned out. The spacing everywhere seems to be right, and it looks almost like a real boat now. You have to get these flags right, you know. That makes a huge difference. If you get these flags right, your boat will be like look double as awesome when you do it right. I like to put the point down where I can see it right and after you can turn the whole thing. In K mode you can switch to the side like this, this is one way you try to align it. An even better way is really to go on the top with the view. And with those flags I will paint them on both sides the same anyway. So I don't care if they turn around or face the wrong direction. So I try to figure out the spacing. You really have to figure it out, you can see it here. But the catwalks, you can see where you place them. And when they go into each other, into, it, into each other, it is not that bad. Here I will switch on top, so you can see it from upside down. You know, the control is a bit complicated because of the movement. But you will get it down very easily when you figure out how it goes. Hey people, we are almost finished with our boat. For the paint shop I think I will do another video because it really took a long time. But I will show you the boat just like how I built it like this. It's already very nice. Some things you can't see right because everything's the same color. So painting it will make it much better, I guess. If you want to put down the torches here, you know how they flicker, flicker around. I think I crafted like 30 of them and they keep deleting them. This is after paint job. So the boat is finished.
you very much for watching this video. If you like it, just like the video, maybe you subscribe. I'm not sure, but I think I will do some more videos later on. Thanks everybody and goodbye.